Hey folks, just wanted to share with you a little something I've been working on. It's called destruction and it's basically dropping a hammer on objects to see what happens. Uh, we're basically going to break stuff and, and see what the outcome is going to be here. So this first shot here is my sketchbook with some illustrations of how I'd like to compose the shots, but more importantly a list of props so that I know what to bring to the photo shoot and you know if I have to buy things or get things prepped ahead of time. This helps me out a little bit, especially you know I do this a lot if I can't immediately go out and shoot something. Uh, a lot of times I'll have ideas for something. I'll just sketch them out in my notebook, write down some ideas in my notebook and put them away for for a rainy day and and shoot them at a later date. Also, when I'm done, I'll go through and note all of my camera settings and I'll sketch out how my light was set up. So if I have to do something similar in the future, I'll just reflect back on my notes and it will save me the aggravation of, of doing some testing, you know, the day of the shoot. I can kind of get up and running a little faster. So let's take a look at what we have here. This is just another little quick behind the scenes. It's uh, I've got two soft boxes on each side of the objects. I've got a two yards of black felt serving as my background there. Now let's take a look at our first shot here. This is the bulb. This is just a lighting test to see where the light's going to fall on the bulb. And then here's the hammer being somewhat held in place just to see how the lighting interacts with the camera. You know, this is kind of ridiculous to actually test out because once this stuff drops and shatters, things are going to fly all over the, the tabletop there. So the lighting's going to change. But, you know, it was off to a good start. So we'll sort of see what happens. There's a little bit of a leap of faith involved here. Okay, uh, this is some baby powder on the bulb. I put some baby powder on there so when the hammer breaks the bulb, I'm hoping the powder will sort of fly up in the air and add a little more atmosphere and interest to the image. So this is the very first frame uh, of the first shot here. This was photographed uh, with the camera on burst mode, so we're getting about, you know, eight frames per second. So here's the hammer coming into frame, and then boom, the next frame is it smashing the bulb. The baby powder worked out really well. Look at that. It really made this cool little cloud of, of smoke, which is kind of neat. I sort of wish I caught this shot a moment earlier, but again, this is a little bit of a game of, of odds going on here, that the more you shoot this, uh, eventually you'll get what you're looking for. And then here's the hammer hitting the table. Let's try this again. So we're going to set up the bulb again. Now something really interesting to my surprise happened here. So I set up the bulb, put the baby powder back on, hammer comes down, hammer hits the bulb. This is kind of a cool frame right here. Again, the baby powder is, is kind of uh, doing its thing, which is kind of cool. However, to my surprise, it didn't break the bulb. Check this out. The hammer bounces off the bulb. Unbelievable, huh? And I, I purposely tried to buy the cheapest bulbs I could find, thinking, you know, you could just crush them easily. Not so much. So, is the, is the hammer still spinning around on the table? Okay, let's, let's reset the stage. We've got our bulb in place. And smash. Now, what happened here, I was so frustrated that the bulb didn't break last time. I put the hammer up higher. And of course, the higher the hammer is, the harder it falls, which makes sense. But the faster it falls, the more motion blur you get. This isn't working out too well. The hammer's coming out too blurry based on my current shutter speed. And again, here's the hammer bouncing around. So the next idea was to do something with liquid in a glass. So I bought this really inexpensive sort of milk bottle and I filled it with blue energy drink thinking when it shatters the blue would look kind of cool with the lighting. So we've got this set up, same deal, we're going to drop the hammer. Now because the last ball peen hammer did not break the bulb, I upgraded to a heavier mallet. It was about, I don't know, about two pounds heavier. So that's going to get dropped on the bottle. And here it is, impacting on the bottle, and to my surprise, the bottle didn't break. The hammer just knocked it off to the side of the table. The hammer went bouncing the other direction, and here's the hammer bouncing back up in the air a little bit. The bottle's knocked over. Didn't work out too well. Now, as I was resetting the shot, just for giggles, I just happened to be playing around with the backdrop and a couple of other things, and the hammer just... Uh, got held here over the bottle just for a moment. It just looked really cool, so I grabbed a snapshot of that. Uh, the lighting on the hammer is kind of interesting, I think. But anyway, let's, let's do more destruction. So here we've reset the stage. Hammer's coming in again. Hits the bottle, and again, 
doesn't break it to my surprise. Bottle goes flying off the table. The bottle actually impacted on a cement floor. Still didn't break. Uh, so I don't know what type of cheap dollar piece of glass I purchased, but it, it holds up really well. So this is the last frame out of this current series. So let me just rewind here for a moment. Let's go back, go back, go back. Out of the whole collection here, I actually kind of think this is my, my favorite shot. That just when it hits the glass and you can see the baby powder getting uh, disturbed and so forth and so on. I would have liked to have grabbed this a fraction of a second later just when it broke but I was out of bulbs. So lesson to be learned, buy more bulbs because you're gonna have to do a lot more shooting to get what you want. And I think the next time around, I'm going to go ahead and probably use some sort of a, a wine glass or something other than the milk bottle with the uh, liquid in it. The good news is I've, I've figured out all my settings. I know what can be done. And now I have a better sense of how to go about and do it. And I'm hoping that in a couple of more weeks, I will have some more uh, destruction to share with you.